Hi, this is Miss R reporting from Saguaro National Park in Arizona. Um, we're talking about our iconic Saguaro cactus that's celebrated in Saguaro National Park. It has a lot of great adaptations for living in the desert. You can see that it's pretty big. It's about 30 feet tall. That means it's pretty old. They can grow to be about 150 years old. So they're kind of like the trees of the desert, but they can store water much better than trees. Um, these cleats here in the cactus are like accordion folded paper. The pleats expand as the cactus absorbs water, just like one of those accordion water jugs if you've seen one of those, and they contract as the cactus loses water in the summer. So the cactus can expand and contract quite a bit depending on how much water it's holding. And there's a lot of fleshy tissue underneath this green waxy cuticle that keeps water from escaping. Um, and that fleshy tissue holds water. And the waxy cuticle here, the, the stuff on the surface, it doesn't feel like a regular plant in Minnesota. It's very waxy. And that keeps water from escaping. Another thing that helps the cactus hold on to its water is the spines. They're a little bit of shade for the cactus and they keep animals from biting into the cactus and stealing water that way. Another adaptation the cactus has to survive in the desert, you think of the cactus as kind of big and squishy, but on the inside it has ribs, uh, 18 to 21 ribs that hold it up and they're very woody. This is almost like a stick. This is from a dead cactus. If you look on the inside, uh, you take like a slice of a cactus uh, on the inside inside the squishy stuff there's a ring of ribs that hold the cactus up just kind of like a tree would some other adaptations this cactus has for living in the desert is a lot of roots this cactus is about 30 feet tall and the roots spread out in every direction about 30 feet so if we drew a circle around this cactus where the roots are we'd have to draw a circle that was 60 feet uh, in diameter all around the cactus. And the roots are very shallow because the rain here doesn't penetrate the soil very much. You can see that the soil is very rocky and sandy and it doesn't get a lot of moisture. So the cactus has to be able to pick up the moisture that falls very quickly. So the roots are very shallow. Um, another adaptation the cactus has is it makes a callus when animals kind of drill in here, it makes a callus around um, that hole. And although the cactus has adapted to the animals, the animals have also adapted to the cactus. You can see there are holes here where animals have uh, crawled into the cactus to make it home. And there are a couple of holes way up there where woodpeckers and uh, other birds have kind of hollowed out part of the cactus to live in the cactus. And then later, other animals will live there, like perhaps elf owls, which are a small owl that lives in the desert, or even reptiles. So there's a lot of ad adaptations in this cactus, and animals have also adapted to the cactus. The so the saguaro cactus is a pretty darn cool thing in the desert. This is Miss R, signing off from Saguaro National Park.